What up boys and welcome back to yet another gold farming video. So in today's video we're looking at a solo gold farm that is extremely easy to obtain like the item that we're after and you could make some serious gold on that especially with the upcoming changes that's happening to transmod. Uh, I made this video uh, like not that long ago about the news uh, that Blizzard uh, gave us that they were planning on uh, allowing us to transmog both white items and also gray items so naturally that opens up for a shit ton of potential gold farms so if that is of interest of you and you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure to do so now so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video uh, i also want to mention that you guys can still get the uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide for 50% off by typing in the code shadowlands into the discount field and it's basically a gold guide that I made almost two years ago and I've been updating it and improving it ever since. So it's like a step-by-step -step basis telling you where to begin and what to do next in order to achieve uh, 10 million gold or more, right? Best part about it is that when a new patch or expansion like Dragonflight comes out, I'm updating this very exact book so you guys don't have to uh, purchase a new book for each expansion. Like one book will get out updated for uh like the the eternity so uh, if you haven't checked it out yet make sure to click the link down below in the description or pinned comment and don't forget the uh, the code shadowlands so as i said with the video uh, and the news about uh blizzard adding a common and gray transmog opens up for a whole possibility of farms the specific farm we're looking at in this video is the dalaran wizard's robe this is a great item. Uh, according to Wowhead, it's 468,000 gold. Not quite accurate. Uh, it is pictured on a gnome right here. The cool thing about it, though, is that only Horde can farm this item. It's a Horde-only farm. So I had to make a class trial just to check out this farm. But this white item has a relatively high drop chance. Like 3% seems actually this time around to be accurate it i got it within like 10 kills it didn't seem hard at all to get and they can drop from all of the amber mill mobs uh, in silver pine forest so i did check out all the locations that wow had claimed that uh, you could find these mobs on uh, but like besides from this cave i couldn't find any mobs whatsoever so this is located right down here in um Silver Pine Forest, this is the cave. According to Wowhead, there's like Amber Mill mobs around this location, but it's just like elementals. But this cave right here spawns mobs very fast. It's somewhat of a hyper spawn because I, I just went through this cave, killed the mobs. It's a very short cave, there's not that many mobs. And after I killed all of these mobs, they seem to spawn outside of the cave again. There's like one mob patrolling outside of the cave. So uh, doing this as a solo farm is no biggie. You don't really have to wait for any spawns. And as I said, the uh, the drop chance on this robe is relatively high. Now, if 400, 500k is not really accurate, but it is posted for 25,000 gold in my realm with a reach in market value average at... Um, See, now we just got another one of 20,000 gold. And this is the type of uh, robe that role players would purchase like already now. It really is. And when you can transmog it as well, it's kind of a unique look. So uh, I don't have any, any worries about selling this item whatsoever. So just another great farm to add to your list of uh, of solo farms to up your transmog uh, selection. And I would post it right now, even though you can't mog him right now. And uh, when you can mog him, I think this one is going to sell like crazy the only bad thing is that you got to play a horde in order to kill these uh alliance mobs so that's kind of sad but hey i know there's a lot of people out there playing horde so uh, i guess you guys are happy about this farm as you can see they are constantly spawning so as i said don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one i have a ton of on my to-do list to feature on the YouTube channel. And if you haven't already, make sure that you check out the uh, 0 to 10 million gold guide or the TBC or even Wrath of the Lich King gold guides if you guys are interested in playing Classic. But that's it for now though. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.